Hey, Uncle Deke here. I want to show you something I just got and I um, learned from a buddy in uh, New Zealand about this and I've seen some other videos but I think my video is just a little bit different. Uh, this is the ISDT Smart Charger uh, 608 it's 150 watt charger. Now what it was, and this is the box came in, and I got it from Banggood. Took two and a half weeks to get it, which I was surprised. That's fairly quick for them. Okay. What this was intention <coughs> made for was to hook a big battery into it here, like this. Okay and a small battery into it, and I don't have another connector, but hook one into it here and charge it. So the deal was to charge a couple of little batteries off of a big battery, say you were flying indoors, didn't have a place to charge or whatever, and had a bunch of little batteries, and you had some big batteries, or you had a motorcycle battery or something, you could plug it into this. But that is not what I want to use it for. Okay? What I want to do with it is connect the charger to a power supply. And what not an original idea, but I somebody says get a power supply for a computer or a printer or something like that. Something you you power your laptop with. So this is what I ended up with. This is a power supply, an HP power supply for a printer or a computer or something. And it uh, this will take up to 32 volts input. 9 to 32 input. And charge up to a 6 cell battery. And it has uh, ST60s built right into it here. So I had to adapt to that. I use Dean's plugs, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, easy to change to adapt to that. So I had three of these charger or these power supplies sitting around and only one of them would work for me. Gotta be careful to get one that's I had one that said it was 32 volts. But it was actually more than 32. It read on the voltmeter 30, 31.9, but it said on this it was more than 32 volts and it wouldn't use it. This one says 31 volts and uh, it works just fine. And it's 1450 milliamps. Uh, this will charge a six cell battery, so amps is not a problem. So what I did with that was pretty simple. I cut the end of it off had a barrel connector, I cut the end of it off and soldered an XT60 right to the cord. I plugged that in to the input part, made them different colors. Then I took a balance board like this and I soldered another XT60 to it and that will plug in on this side and the balance part will plug in right here and now you can charge multiple batteries on this board up to six cell batteries and I don't know how many to do Yesterday I charged two twenty two hundreds and I charged it pretty fast, even though it's a balanced charger. And this is your opening screen right here. Um, it tells you that you um, what you want to do here. The task is charge, discharge, or storage charge. We want to charge. We want to do a battery. We're going to do a 2200 battery. So we want to uh, 
go up here no we want to do lipo okay lipo then we want to do three cell and here let's see we want to do a 2200 come on you see it goes okay there's 2200 2.2 .2. push the button in okay put it over here on start and let me get a battery okay so now we got a 2200 battery in here and we're going to plug that in and plug it in to the balance port okay and we want to start and to do that we just push in on this button Okay, now it says it's charging. Now, what's really cool about this little charger is it has a built-in fan. In the back here is a little like a computer fan. And when that starts to warm up, it will get that fan to come on and keeps it from getting too hot. Now the other cool thing it does here is it tells you what each individual cell is doing. Now what are we looking at here is up here it says it's 83% charged and every cell has a different value. Well I've been having trouble with these batteries. I've gotten two in a row brand new ones of these Gen Zace batteries that had bad cells in them. This is the second one right here, and if you can charge it all day long, and it won't uh, it won't balance, and it won't take a full charge. Eighty three percent is as much as it get. It just won't go any more than that, and uh, these will stay pretty much that much off. That one is way off. They replaced one. I haven't heard from them on the other one. Uh, not gonna buy any more of these Gen Zace batteries. Uh, just not real happy with them. Thought it would be, but I'm not. But the whole idea for using this charger is I want to travel with it, and it's a little bit lighter. I weighed a the smallest charger I had that I was traveling with, and this actually weighs. Uh, about 200 grams less including the power supply than the other one plus it's smaller quite a bit smaller than the other charger the other thing I could do with this is in our van we have a 120 volt outlet in a van and we can charge things with the engine running I could charge some batteries with this or I could make another input plug off of a cigarette lighter plug and plug right into the cigarette lighter outlet at which were there are several in the car and plug batteries in into that and charge them so I got multiple ways to use this little charger and uh, charge some batteries so I think it's pretty good I charged some batteries last night it uh, they charged pretty quick and they all came out pretty even on the balance and so I'm happy with it I'm going to try this one again to see if it will charge it any better than... It's called a smart charger. It's supposed to be monitoring the voltage in each cell. So we'll see. But I thought I'd give you a little look at this ISDT smart charger SC608 from Banggood. Hope that helps you a little bit. Uncle Deke out.